Hi, I'm Matt Sosman at Microsoft, and today I'd like to talk to you about security compliance in Microsoft Teams, starting with data loss prevention. Let's take a look at a few demos around this awesome capability. Now, because Microsoft Teams is part of Office 365, it can take advantage of the security compliance features built into Office 365. For example, data loss prevention. Here on the left side of the screen, you can see Megan, and she's going to send a private chat to Adele asking for a credit card number. So when she sends that chat to Adele, on the right side of the screen is Adele, and you can see that she's received the message. So Adele's then going to respond back with that credit card number. Now, passive DLP will kick in, and after a couple of seconds, you can see that the message was blocked on Megan's side. She cannot see the sensitive content, and on right side, it lets Adele know that she's made a boo-boo. Now when she clicks on what can I do, it's going to tell her what happened, why the policy kicked in, and then she can override the policy and still send the sensitive data if she provides a justification. Now it's important for me to note that this can be turned off via policy so that the justification cannot be entered and we strictly just block it. Now let's take this a step further. Over on the left side here, let's go ahead and go to the go to team here, and I'm going to go to the launch event channel on a team. Now here you can see that Megan is going to type in a credit card number so that people could place a food order using her American Express card. And when she sends that out to the channel, after a few moments, again, passive DLP is going to kick in and then remove that credit card number from the channel message. So DLP works not only in private one-on-one -on -one chat or a private group chat, but also in channel messages inside Microsoft Teams. Now, if I go to my email as an admin, here you can see an email notification was sent from the system letting the admin know that a DLP violation has occurred. Pretty cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on data loss prevention in Microsoft Teams. Please go out and check out the DLP feature set in Office 365 and explore how you can protect not only Microsoft Teams, but Exchange, SharePoint, and OneDrive as well. Thank you and have a great day.